This is a download from BFM 89.9, the business station. Good afternoon, this is Tech Talk and I'm Jeff Sandu. According to Ken Doctor, author of Newsonomics, news outlets get 33% of their traffic from mobile, up from 25% in 2012. And uh, we are at the brink of a mobile majority. Uh, here with me today is Yenzer Lee. He's the founder and director of Creative Technology in Fireworks Solutions. Uh, Yenzer, welcome to the show. Hi, Jeff. Nice to meet you. Now, you know, when we mention about mobile publishing softwares, uh, we always think about the traditional, you know, news media uh, and all that. But where does fireworks come into play? And how big is actually the mobile publishing, uh, you know, industry? Well, um, this industry is large, huge, because... Um, we have the newspapers, the magazines, and the books, and this is a natural progression that they will be able to publish the content into smart devices. But when I'm saying huge is because not only industries like newspapers, magazines, and books are able to use the mobile publishing systems, we are trying to encourage other businesses in other sectors to use the mobile publishing system to empower their businesses. For example, how? Like, like how can they actually, like organizations, what kind of organizations do you, do, you, do you talk of? For instance, an education company, they have content for their students, their learning materials, they have the books, they have lectures. If they have a vehicle that can deliver to their students so that the students can do revisions um, remotely, that would be great. And um, other organizations like uh, direct selling companies, right? They have a lot of distributors and they need a vehicle for them to deploy their training and marketing materials to them, which traditionally right now, what they're doing is that they're using print materials, they're sending out emails, which is not very effective. Also, um, I'm also talking about if there is an organization that has content to deliver internally, we can write on this mobile publishing system to deliver more effectively. Mm. So it's not just news media or so, you know, any, any media powerhouse that could use mobile publishing software. I would think that if you know the way to do it, uh, mobile publishing can be used for almost any type of businesses. All right, so let's talk about case studies. Um, you have one where it's, the, it's quite the common, where it's the education sector. So what, what are some of the case studies that you can have for education sector using mobile publishing uh, uh, softwares? For instance, the Open University Malaysia. They are a open and distance learning university, which means that they encourage their students to learn remotely. So they have educational content like um, e-books, they have audio books, they have video lectures to be delivered to the students. So they come to Fireworks to ask what can we do for them to create a vehicle whereby they can easily and effectively deploy all this content to the students through the smartphones and the smart devices. Mm. So what Fireworks has done is that through our our system called the Mobimax publishing system, we have customized an application for them that so that the students can now uh, download the entire coursework into their phone mm. securely, of course. And since that most of us bring our phones, our smartphones everywhere we go, um, students are now able to um, learn anywhere, anytime, with or without internet connection. Mm. And this is because they can listen to about lecturers uh, talking, uh, giving a speech on podcasts and stuff on their phones? Or? Yes. Um, for instance, if you are traveling in a train and you probably do not have the space to open up your laptop or, mm. or, or open up your book, etc., what you can do is that you have downloaded the uh, audio lectures and now you can just listen on your iPhone and you know you can learn anywhere mm -hmm. what about what about an industry which is completely different and someone that pro probably for me would think that they have got nothing to do with mobile publishing uh, you mentioned early on uh, you know d direct sales uh, organizations how would they use mobile publishing softwares for their own benefit okay so here I'm talking about Amway Malaysia Amway Malaysia is one of the largest direct selling company in Malaysia as well as globally 
um, they have more than a few hundred thousands distributors. So they have a lot of training materials, marketing materials, newsletters, monthly magazine to deliver to their distributors. So every month they are using a traditional method of delivering this content to them, which is print materials. They have to post it to them. Um, this may come in very costly and not so effective. Mm. So what Fireworks has done for them is that um, we, are, we use our mobile Max system to uh, deploy an application called the Mway eLibrary. This Mway eLibrary app is targeted to their distributors. So now, Mway is able to deliver their marketing materials, training content, um, videos, multimedias, directly to the tablets of their distributors. Mm. It has saved them tremendous costs. And not only that, this platform is also very secure. It allows Mway to manage their content privacy. For instance, if you are not a distributor, you may not be able to access their content. So for instance, if you are a distributor, you have to log in with your Mway ID and password. So, and another thing is that they are able to segmentize their com uh, content towards different levels of distributors. For instance, if you are a silver level distributor, you are not able to view the content that are meant for the diamond level distributors. So these solutions uh, will <coughs> make the content distribution more effective and targeted. Mm. It, it's an it's a effective content management software or system in a way, right? Yes, yes. Not only that, um, of course, we, when we talk about uh, delivering content, we also want to make the content more sexy. So within our tools, there is a tool called the Interactive Magazine Publisher, whereby now, every month, Emory is able to publish an interactive magazine called the E-Amagram whereby it is fully interactive. It has so videos, videos, pictures, yes, and stuff yes, like Yes, it's, it's like an interactive magazine that you mm. see on the tablets nowadays. Because mm. they're not working with print anymore. Right? Yes, exactly. Mm. And it saves them time from you know, delivering all these uh, documents to the particular distributor, you know, where they have to send it via post and or, you know, or email and yes, stuff. Yes, right? time and cost. Mm. I'm speaking to Yen Zhe Li, the founder and director of Creative Technology in Fireworks Solutions. And when we come back in just a moment, uh, we'll talk about your very own mobile publishing software called MobiMax. Uh, this is Tech Talk on BFM 89.9. Jeff Sandu here and with me today is Yen Zhe Li, the founder and director of Creative Technology in Fireworks uh, Solutions. And we are talking about mobile publishing. And early on, we spoke about a, a bit about how a different, how you're taking a, a very different take of mobile publishing. It's not just the, the news media, it's about organizing organizations you know you've spoken about how education are mm -hmm. using this you've spoken about how direct sell uh, how a direct selling company are using this so you know in terms of why does this actually matter to an organization it can be any organization why why should we even care about mobile publishing well jeff um recently the study shows that um in malaysia itself um the smartphone penetration is at a rate of 63 percent and it's growing very rapidly. So it does make sense for businesses to communicate and deliver the content directly through the smartphones to their, towards their target audience. Mm. And you're banking on, you know, the, in terms of the growth of 3G speeds and LTE as well, right? Yes, correct. Right. Now, you have your own publishing software called MobiMax. Uh, so just explain to me, what is MobiMax all about? MobiMax is our star innovation. Um, it's an enterprise software. Enterprise software means that it is software dedicated for businesses. And it offers organizations a platform to publish, easily publish content via the cloud to directly to the smart devices like the iPhone, Android phones, iPads, Android tablets. And this software, it has a lot of features such as the e-commerce, product catalog, CRM, interactive content, multimedia, and much more. That is why this product can cater to more than just the publishing industry. It can cater to other sectors like direct selling, education, pharmaceutical, or any industry that have content to deliver to their 
audiences. Mm, you can cater to whatever needs that is required yes, from an yes. organization. But when you talk about enterprise software, um, you know, recently there's been a, a decline in terms of the adoption of enterprise software simply because they, they it isn't as sexy as a consumer software. It is it isn't as user friendly as a consumer software. The user experience is is way off, and you know, people find it very difficult to use enterprise software. So how does Mobimax, tr- you know, help in terms of you know, user friendliness or user experience. How easy when you say easy? So to answer your question, Jeff, um, I would like to tell you a little bit of the Fireworks background. We are not just a technology company. We also provide creative services. We are a hybrid of creative people and technology people. So when we develop a software, we always put both the technology and the user experience in mind. So if you look at our software, especially the um, OUM app or the MWAE library app, it is very user-friendly and it is attractive, it is sexy. So we focus on delivering a software that is both usable for the business users and the end consumers. Mm. Now, you, how is this Mobimax different to what we are quite familiar with, the bigger players, the Adobe's of the world? They've obviously get into the, the game very early on. So how is Mobimax f- you know, playing with the big boys and you know, why should someone actually choose Mobimax instead of you know, the bigger, b- bigger bad boys? Bigger bad boys. <laughs> okay. Um, basically, there are two types of competitors in our industry. Uh, the first type is the bigger bad boys, like you say, the off-the-shelf publishing systems. The other type is the digital agencies that does custom applications for people, right? So let's talk about the type number one. Um, people like uh, the off-the-shelf publishing systems, they are ready-made, which is very good, um, but often they are very costly and mm. not flexible to be customized to the specific needs of a business. And most of it, they are catering to the news and magazines industry. So very seldom you'll see a product that is catering to other businesses, whereby Mobimax, because we own the entire technology ourselves, we are able to customize fully for each uh, specific needs of the business. And most of these off-the-shelf publishing system, they are often from out of Malaysia. Um, they do have they do have resellers in Malaysia, and usually resellers they are like frontline implementers. They implement the technology, but they do not have the control towards the full technology. Which means, in terms of technical support, it's not so high. Where else, as I say, Fireworks owns the technology, which means that we can provide hundred percent technical support and customization for our customers. And because it's a local product it's often more cost efficient. Mm. Why do you think the bigger players haven't really get into what Mobimax is doing, you know, trying to cater into organizations? Well, that's because the newspaper industry, the magazine industry is a large industry. Of course, the big players want to target the uh, biggest uh, sectors. And uh, whereas for us, we are looking at a very wide range of businesses. We want to create a product that is meaningful and usable for a lot of different sectors. Hmm. You recently won the MBA Awards 2013 in the ICT sector for Mobimax. Um, what does this award mean to the company and you know what kind of doors does it open up? So when we win this award, it means to Fireworks that even though we are a local small agency, we are able to compete with the big boys if we deliver great products. And, it has the, and the doors that it opens up? Yes, um, it has also given our potential and existing clients a lot of confidence in us. Um, for instance, a, there are more businesses inquiring about these products and we have found some early successes whereby um, MV Thailand and MV Vietnam, a, already engaged Fireworks to uh, deploy this product for them. I've been speaking to Yen Zhe Li, the Director of Creative Technology for Fireworks Solutions, talking about the mobile publishing software and Mobimax. 
This is Tech Talk on BFM 89.9. Thank you for listening to this podcast. To find more great interviews, go to bfm.my or find us on iTunes. BFM 89.9, the business station.